This is your host with the most, Mr. Bro Rogan, and you are live from the Why Not Podcast. And today, man, I have a very special guest, man, and I don't even have to go into the whole who he is, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm sitting here not with just a, a legend out here in the streets of L.A., man. We talk about a legend in this music game. We're talking about a guy who was part of one of the biggest, biggest conglomerate in music history. We're talking about a guy who was representing that G unit when niggas was wearing that shit on their shirts and on their shoes and shit, man. And, and, and like I said, not only just a music legend, but a street legend, man. We sitting here with Mr. Spider Loke. Let's get it. Excuse my left. Oh, no, it's it's the deal, man. Hey, hey, what's going on with you, SP? Oh, blessings abundant, man. I appreciate the invite to be here, the hospitality, man. That's a great energy in this building, man. No, I just feel like, why not get it cracking? Hey, come on <laughs> now. And, and you know, like I like like we like you said a minute ago, man. We basically had a podcast before we started this podcast. Oh, my we, mama, mama, we, at facts will finish out to Alex Alonzo. Matter of fact, the whole squad over there. Yeah, shout out um, Alex. I've tried to make it. I've learned this from Adam Twenty Two. Shout out Deuce Deuce. Shout out Deuce Deuce. What I learned when I go to his platform when I was coming there as just being someone being interviewed. Yeah. Uh-huh. The production staff, everyone else that sits at the table, when, at least in my experience, gets in position, uh-huh. and it's down to go five, four, three, two, one, mm-hmm. and then here comes Adam. He sits down, hey, what's up? And then it's go. Boom. And I learned that helps you, in my regard. What I learned when I anticipate having a guest at Facts Over the Feelings, uh-huh. and we have to meet before the podcast, and we have all this time to talk. We get we we kind of like spoil a lot of that anticipation you're some right. of the most energetic conversation right. and we be, we say oh we gotta talk about that on the podcast you're right and we try to recreate it it's never the same so you're right i try to incorporate in my podcasting i don't want to talk to my guests until it's time to go cracking yeah see i i i i 100 feel that and and that makes more sense than anything however what i do when my guests come in i talk about shit that I know I'm not gonna talk about on the podcast. So when I bring you in, I'm like, man, like, what type of alcohol you like? What's right. going on? And then I might tour the facility. Tour the facility. Get, yeah, I'm like, you wanna go see my correct. roof? And I, and I do that kind of shit. Your background, but, you told me that, yeah. Exactly, right. and I give you the background of what, what, what part of the town I'm from mm-hmm. and all that. But one thing I do do, and we're gonna get right into you, it. You do do? Uh, pause. <laughs> no, that's not. A, <laughs> it no, ain't I a pause. Don't play that pause. No, no, no. You don't. Because I it, do now. It was comedy. It was not sexual. Doo-doo. No, no. I know. I know. Doo-doo. Doodle was not sexual. I'm like. I know, but like, but like you do do. You should. Like, you did. Yeah, yeah, like, we, we all shit. Yeah, yeah, we all yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 no, I, I, I do that as a joke now. <laughs> no, you know where that came from? Driving my kids to school, singing to them. <laughs> Girl, uh, honey, you knew how much I do. Do yeah. yeah. My, from, my kids used to stop right there. Oh, daddy, 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 daddy. So that's no, where I came from. And, and the reason why I do that whole pause shit, because, you know, we L.A. niggas, we don't do that shit. Yeah, we, but I really, really want to big up and give props to Mace and Cameron. First, I love the fact that those dudes were able to put their bullshit together Mace. and create a podcast. Not only create a podcast, but create a show. And them niggas is so violent with the... With the Paul shit, I, it's comical to me. But they over, be, they've overdone it. They overdo it to the point to where it's comedy and to Mace, me. Mace is my boy. But I have a personal relationship, history, and connection with Mace to this uh, day. You but, know, you know, but, I can tell you from where. Me, use a window chopper. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. Hey, we, you hey, mad at me. Hey, on my mama, I mama. Know you hey, know, uh, you was all over that. From my understanding, Fifth had us in the richest city in the world at that time shooting that video. That's was that why. In, was that in it, Italy? It was in. It was over that side of the world, but uh, I can't forget. You don't even na- remember. Damn, I don't remember. Nigga, my nigga. But that was jet all, setter. That's why they went there. That's why everything was overpriced. Five thousand dollar burgers it. because I, I forget it. the name of that place. From my understanding, they was telling me back then there's only like a population of two thousand people. God damn. You have to have a, a certain amount of money in the bank to even be considered as a resident. Was that was that is that Monaco? There you go. Bam. Monaco. Bam. Bam. Hey, bam. Plop, bam. Plop, 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 oh, where plop. your button at? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Come Monaco. On, yeah, Monaco. Yeah, it was you a know, great experience. Rest in peace, Prodigy. We had a good time out there, man. We had a great time. I'd be on my shit, but no, like I was saying, um, and that's why I do the Paul shit. I do the Paul shit as a joke within a joke. Like, Yo, there, I just, you know I, I, I play it around with it a little bit, but it's been so oversaturated. It is. Niggas no, I don't like that no Diddy shit. Much. I don't. Damn, but that's flyer. I, I, you I'm like with, that no Diddy yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. You know why? One reason I don't like it, and 
because one, we've already we we've always known what Diddy was into. Mm. We've always known about the freak off party. Well, we always heard. We've heard. We've heard. We've heard. Mm -hmm. We didn't know. Correct. I've never walked in the door and Correct. seen that nigga Me caressing either. a man. Me either. However, <laughs> in this city, and I, and I rub shoulders with the best of them. I be in these hill parties. So I'm knowing. I, I've I've hear I've heard things. So like now that it's coming out, it's like nigga, what you mean? Of course we've been doing this. So like now people are really saying everything is no Diddy, but like to me it's already been. But you know why it has a ring? No diggity. That's no something that was already in our no diggity. Dun, 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 dun. So Dr. when you Dre. hear no diddy, not only is it a replacement for Pauls, not only is he currently in the motherfucking media for these type of things, and we've been known about his tendencies or been aware of them, it also reminds us of a no diggity, even though we don't remember. Do you, so it's a ring You know it. what a lot of people don't know? That when Dr. Dre first broke wide from Death Row and he came with the no diggity song, Suge and them was like, we are gonna take that beat and flip it, and that's when they did toss it up. My homeboy did toss it up. That's Meach from One I Know East Coast. That's who made that His beat. His son played Tupac in the biopic Demetrius Ship. Oh, Ship Junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His father, Demetrius Ship Senior, did the you, toss it up beat. That's I my homeboy. That. That's but who that introduced was, me to Top Dog way back in the day. Before. And they took that beat. Did no diggity beat and flipped it. A lot of people don't know. I yeah. know you know. Yeah. Shout out to you, yeah. man. Yeah. But okay, so. Back to what I was saying. So what I do when I have my guests come on, because I already know I'm one of them niggas. I, I could talk for two days straight. Mm -hmm. And I know, but like when I have my guests come in, I talk about stuff that we're not going to talk about on the podcast. But one thing I do do, if I do have <laughs> someone here, <laughs> I did that on purpose. So is, why not? <laughs> why not? I like to give people a heads up mm -hmm. because right now I'm, I, 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 I'm, you know, not to pop my shit, but like niggas is hitting us up and we also are in this is this is content. Mm -hmm. So whatever's popping on the on the internet, I try to get my hands involved. Pause. Wisely so. So why not? There was the, I had a guest the other day, and I told you about this guest before you came on. I said, Look, Spider, I let I have to let you know I had a young man on here the other day and you were part of the conversation. You were part of the topic. Why not? So before I blindsided you, I had to let you know. And this is a show I haven't even put out yet. So before it even comes out, I'm letting you know. So that guy I'm talking about is WAC 100. Mm -hmm. And we said we're gonna have a conversation about WAC. So I'm gonna allow you your space right now to, to, to get whatever off your chest. Cause I when he not, came no, in- no, I have nothing to get off my chest. Okay. If you have anything you would like to inquire upon related to him, you can do so. Okay, one thing I did. One thing I didn't understand when he was here and I had to ask him because as you know, WAC has a lot of fades lined up, right? So that's what I asked him about. That was the first thing I said, WAC, for a nigga with so many fades, you know, are you gonna take any of these? You said he was right here recently? Yeah, he was sitting right I'm right. giving you you can tell him we can line it up right here. Ooh shit, no no right, no. Right here, me and him, head up right hey. here and he, your thing. Right hey, here. come on, hey whack, hey. If you haven't left yet, you already know you already know the address here. I'm not gonna give it out because I do have stalkers. But uh <laughs> tell me you can bring five homies, I'm gonna bring five homies. Oh shit. Go head up and right there's room in here too. It ain't, I, it ain't nothing but concrete in this building. Right come now. on now, come on now, but no. no. Bare knuckles, but go ahead, go ahead. But no, but um I just um pretty grip on this flow too. Oh it is, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Slide, slide. But go ahead. But no, and and I had to um because I I, I just needed to know, like, cause sometimes you know, I grew up in, in, in a time when, when WWF was really popping. You know what I'm saying? I fucked with WWF. And when I found out as a teenager that, that it was all what they call kayfabe. So I had to make, you, I don't know if you, you like, know. Like, like holding on 100 in the parking lot with them two white boys. I just didn't know if it was real, the beefs that he all, that he has so many beefs. Because I'm like, you're beefing with guys that's in the same building as you. And that's when I brought up your name. I said, you, 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 you talk about Spider, and you talk about this person, this person, and then he got to saying, like, I don't know this person, and blah, 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 but then, like, he started talking about, like, um, you reaching out to him and wanting to be signed. Never. Okay. Let, me, let me clarify. Clarify all that. Shout out Jay Coffee. Jay Coffee. Jay Coffee is a blogger. Got it. Um, on YouTube. It's a white boy. Um, I've never met in my life. Okay. When Wack became associated with 
Cash Money West. Okay. There's a blogger by the name of Jay Coffey. Jay Coffey. That did a piece saying, wow, Wack has been telling this for years. Well, I have been on a hiatus for uh, about seven years. Okay. Wack was building his media presence, running around doing interviews. Uh -huh. And this white boy, I don't even know where he's from, he did a piece saying, wow, Wack is the new CEO of Cash Money West. Is he, his cousin, because this is what Wack has been telling the world, we're family, that's my boy. Spider Loke, that's family, da 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 Because his whole stitch is the pop names. Yeah, Reptables, did. that's how he created his relevance. Is to, 100%. I fuck with so and so. I can get him on the phone. That's all he is. That's all he is. So at this point, he had been doing that so long that this blogger, Jay Coffee, suggested with on his own merit, he did a whole video. Jay Coffee, I need that video. Send it to my DM. So hey, I send it to his Jay Send it to my Jay DM, Coffey. Jay Coffee, so now. I can send it to the homie. We so need I can, that. You know how they do receipts. Yes, so sir. whenever he announced he had the motherfucking um, cash money shit. Jay Coffey did a thing saying, oh, no brainer. Whack family should be on now. He's Cash Money West, Spider Loke it. situation should be saved. Got it. The troll that Whack tried to be, 600 tried to be, I've been for years. So I sent that video to Whack. That's all I did, cuz. Which caused me and Whack to start going back and forth, him saying, ah, oh, man, that shit you did in the Valley, man, they ain't fucking with you. I'm saying, man, them niggas squash everything else. Why they can't squash that? Right. Slaff emojis. I'm trolling. Trolling, right. So we have a conversation about why they would not consider dealing with me. He also told me, shout out to Baby and Slim and Terrence Gangster Williams, my nigga BC from my Piru. We on. all been politicking. Right. And I told uh, Baby and Slim recently via internet, we was not trying to harm y'all. Y'all know we was on with Lil Wayne and all that that day. But anyway, I okay. said it. Just for the people that don't know what you're talking about, well, there was a situation back in the day where you guys surrounded Correct. the 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 car vehicles that, that right. occupied Baby and Slim. It was two SUVs uh -huh. driven by white men, professionals, luxury type situation, and one occupied Baby, one occupied Slim. Me and my entourage went to meet them um, and anticipating them about to uh, have a conversation with Lil Wayne. Right. Who had been dropped off at a venue and we encountered the two SUVs leaving, right. not realizing they just had delivered Lil Wayne to this venue in this dead end. Okay. We thinking we got whoever we thought we was looking right. for in these SUVs. So we blocked them in in this dead end and did that display thinking Lil Wayne perhaps was hiding under the third row of the got extended it. shit. <laughs> now, not knowing he's right there. We could have went past them trucks. Thank the Lord. Uh, we didn't know to just go past the trucks and go in where he was because we would have did some very irresponsible now, shit. Now, Spider, so you guys were approaching Lil Wayne because at this time, this was our first time as like connoisseurs of the music, fans, and as LA guys seeing the whole red rag Lil Wayne, Pa Rue Lil Wayne. And also at that time, I don't know if you guys know, Lil Wayne actually dissed Crip in one of his songs. This is what I heard, and this is what I know why you guys pressed him. And this is why Food everyone, Chain Crip for Def Dope. Yeah, so this is, now tell me if I'm right or wrong. You guys, and 40 Glock included. No. No. He was a tag along. Okay, he just was He part tried of to run with it like it was his play. Oh, okay. And the reason why he was able to kind of hijack it, because way back then, he had a motherfucking phone that was known as a kite phone, K-Y-T-E, K -Y -T, yeah. and it was going live. It was live feed. He's the only nigga that had it, and before we went around there, he, he was, was live feeding. Okay. So, and that's why he saved us. Really, the weenie shit saved us because it nobody wanted to get active because they knew they was on live. Okay, now, Go ahead. tell me, that now, am I right or am I wrong, but you guys were approaching Wayne's van and Baby's van just to be like, yo, what's up with all of this? What, 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 he had a record what was the he purpose? Stated, of, he stated the same. He had a song that was on the radio uh -huh. saying, Sue Woo Gang, if you ain't with that, you in the food chain. Exactly. I was, I was aware that he was recently a college student, had stepped his vocabulary up. He's getting this motherfucking reputation as the, the metaphor he was lyricist. At Stephen F. Austin in Texas. Okay, so now I'm Lufkin, thinking any, Texas. anybody that educated 
a MC that's a gangster of blood, if he say Subu gang, if you ain't with that, you in the food chain, that's he talking about crap. Crap, yeah. 100%. Yeah, so. And people miss that. Yes. It went yes. over a lot of people's head, but you Just like, a shout out to Kendrick. Rapper. I don't want to seem like I'm hating on Kendrick's campaign right now. I'm with him. We I all just, with him. It just don't resonate with me. It's over my head. Maybe I'm going to get it down the line. Yeah, we will. Just like that We're gonna shit. We're going to dissect it today. On the set. But just like that shit went over everybody's head. It went head. over everyone's head. Except, except mine. Except for mine. Yes. So when you guys approached the van, I already knew what was it about what, what it was it about because that same week it was um there was some type of music festival or 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 um uh it was like was it the not the B E T award some award show and I remember and I'm not gonna drop names. I'm not gonna cause you know, I'm not I nigga I'm a, I'm I a will. civilian. I <laughs> at the end of the day, but I'm not. I will. But, we was on Hollywood Boulevard. I was with certain individuals, and um, they got out of their SUV to go into the venue, and they had red rags all the way down to their ankle, mm -hmm. but it was out the left side of their pocket. Mm -hmm. And it was the OG. I give him a pass, bro. It was the OG me, nigga that walked up real, on him. I'm gonna keep it real. Oh. It was the OG Shout that out Magic walked. from A7 Gangster, oh, my God. G homie. It was the OG that walked yeah, on him and said, "Hey, nigga, DJ Quick and them niggas don't even represent that shit out here Esau. like that. Like y'all being disrespectful and made them tuck them." You know, he just came to pull up on me in the projects the other day. Well, in you the said it not me. Magic. Yeah, that's my. Life. Well, that was during that same time. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? No, I'm talking about the other day. Oh, but I'm saying when the time I'm talking about when he approached them about oh, the red. No, no, Magic. That was slightly later. Uh, but in the era, it was in the now era. that we're so far removed from both of them, it's the same era. Yeah. It's the same yeah, era. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Magic, then, he introduced me to Shug. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep okay. Going. And I, I just know during that time, a lot of people were, uh, well, people from here were on them niggas' heads. Cause but one, not like me and Magic. Magic is my type. Right. Exactly. Yeah, but no. I'm just saying, people, it was a confusion because LA guys, we take this type of shit serious. Feed the babies. And to see somebody, my mother and my family is from, New Orleans. They hate when I mention this because I mention it a lot, but I, it, it works with this story because me growing up and going back and forth there, I, I didn't never know any Piru bloods in that state or city. Mm. So to see these guys who had already established themselves as as artists and, and platinum, like to see this, all of this switch to where they bang as a heart, it, it was confusing. You know, you know why it's deep to me? Because my G homies, Big D, and Kojak from 97 East Coast oh, yeah. have been in their camp since the 90s. So you guys thought it was kind of weird too to see these guys. So you guys approached this van on some what's up with that type shit, right? I approached that van okay. on that. Got it. What happened was my studio was in North Hollywood at the time and it was a unit with multiple studios. The owner also had a film production studio on the same property, but it was separated by a gate. So Got even it. though it was the same property, you would have to leave my parking lot, go around the corner to, go to, the, other. to the other side. Uh -huh. So on foot, you can walk through the unit and through a chain link fence, see what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. And what happened one day was, shout out to Enoch, the, the guy that sang on the hook of Beautiful World. Okay. He and I were in the studio by ourselves. I had a record that um, Felly Fell had given me with T Pain. Oh, shout out Felly Fell and T Pain. T Pain was on the hood called Drop Top Queen. And I had submitted it for my record. Okay. And G Unit accepted it. But I had not met Felly, um, T Pain. Oh. So I wanted to get a conversation with T Pain, let him know oh. Felly Fell gave me this record. Hey. It's being considered for my album. Would you support it? We're going to work it in the budget and all that. So that's just had been in the back of my mind for a while. Yeah. So one day, me and E Note, He's from Oakland. He sings on Beautiful World. We're in the Blue Room, which is my studio. I, the, the, the producer of Beautiful World, which is a white boy, E-Rock, he was in a production group called The Riffs. He had the Red Room in the same unit. That's how I ended up in the Blue Room. He was a, he's still a friend of mine to this day. But at the time, I went, I walked from the Blue Room to the Red Room. At the Red Room, you can visually see what's going on at the video side of the establishment. Mm -hmm. From the Blue Room, you can't, I'm in the hallway. So when I go to get a blank CD from the Red Room, I look, damn, it's a crew over there today. It's not always a crew. You can tell it's wow, something going on. Something big. Yeah, something big. So I see a crew member fucking with some cones out there. I'm like, shooting a video today? He's like, this white guy's like, yeah. I'm like, who? And he's like, um, T-Pain, is he big? I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's so. Next record, yeah, so now when I get the blank CD, instead of getting it for what I was getting it for, 
I take it to my studio, burn the song with T Pain on it, and now me and E Note, we finna go around here. God. It's my chance to approach T Pain. I got the record, da 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 da. So we do this, we go around there. Now, mind you, remember I told you I had to leave my location, mm -hmm. go around on Magnolia, go on Coanga, and then it's the same address, but it's just a different side. It's just a different side. And this is a dead end. Today they had a guy, I do this every day, there's nobody there, but at the at the at the mouth of this dead end, there's a nigga with a black security t shirt on and a folding chair sitting there with a flashlight checking traffic. Got it. So when I pull up, he like, What up? You here with he said, You here with T Pain? I'm like, nah. He like, You here with Wayne? That's my first indication Wayne has something to do with this. God. I'm like, no. Nah. I, I said, no, nah, I got a studio down here. He, he was a black man. He like, oh, he me like, oh, my bad, my bad. Right. He Come let on me through. go. Yeah, let yeah, me yeah. go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Good. yes, yes, yes. So now when me and Eno exit our vehicle and walk in, I promise you, T Pain is in a corner over there, lights, camera, action with some bitches around him filming the video from. You can find me out in Aspen, yeah, yeah. Aspen. Hey, hey, shout out to the that. West Constant Festival because yeah. of that. Okay, okay, so that's yeah. the moment. You can, you can date this day oh, by knowing that's what was going on. So that's what the video they were shooting. So as I walk in, immediately, T-Pain head of security that's sitting there, sees me from across the room, gets up, and makes a beeline directly toward me. His name is Anton. When I met 50 Cent, he was 50 Cent's head of security. Oh, yeah. he, he's not black, but he knows me real well. Okay. Shout out to Big Dame, Anton. Shout out to Dame. Yeah, Big Dame and Anton. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Man, hit a button, man. What you got that for? Yeah. Here we go. All right. Big, Big Dame is now, he's been responsible for holding Chris, Chris Brown down for the better part of the last decade. Shout That's my nigga. But he used to work for Anton as well. But just so happened, when I walked in to go try to network with T-Pain, Antoine was the guy, Antoine was, he was the guy on duty. So he immediately walked up to me, greeted me, like, what's up, Spider? I tell him what I'm up to. As soon as the production said, cut, Antoine made a beeline to T-Pain. He walking over there, mumbling to T-Pain. T-Pain comes straight to me. Oh. And then I get to present what I'm about. Got it. T-Pain was with it. Okay. But guess what? What? Somebody else was there, like a, just somebody I know. I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> no, I don't. I know who you're talking about. I'm looking for Lil Wayne now. Mm -hmm. He's not here. So I find out he's coming later. God. So I tell somebody that's in the production, nigga, I'm around the corner. As soon as he get here, nigga, we on him. Let me know. We on him. It took Wayne hours to arrive. In the meantime, Superstar shit. Shout out to my nigga Shice from Six Deuce. Rest in peace. Death before the signer. Oh, my nigga was Shice. fresh out the pen. He a gremlin. He the first nigga I called. Like, oh, I, cause. Shice. I, Lil, I said, Lil Wayne on his way up here, bro. Some jewelry and all that. Uh, bring the crew. Ooh, so, this was a book of What? This was a book of So just imagine, from that time, it took Wayne three, four, five hours to get there. Okay. I'm in North Hollywood. Uh -huh. Rest in peace, Big Payback. He was my artist. I'm in his hood. Wait, pay, uh... Uh, McDonald's. Uh, Whitsit? Whitsit, yeah. Whitsit? Whitsit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah, that was my man. artist, yeah. Really? At the time of his death, yeah. So, Damn. I'm in his hood, so as we get in call, I, I really wanted to make a demo and do some shit. I call my homie Lil Shice, bring whoever. I called a few more cribs from LA. Mm. That's traveling time. Mm. I tell Payback what I want to do. Payback has been trying to show me. Spider, I'm a real one. I'm a real one out here. Yes, I'm in your backyard. We need a crew. Don't get this valley shit confused. Yes, so we pay, out here. Payback had a gang of young niggas from Wissit and OVG out there. They had instructions. Uh -huh. Terrorize. Oh, shit. All spoils are for the taking. Ooh. Kicking over cameras. Damn. Jury and everything. Aye. That was the rules. That's Ooh. what we was going with. Mm -hmm. That's what every. And I'm telling. I had payback charged. Damn. Wooty wop, bam, boom, boom. So that's the intentions the, we you went put around. The battery with. in they back. So in those few hours of us anticipating Lil Wayne's arrival, uh -huh. just imagine how many phone calls, phone calls, phone. Crips is pulling up left, right, left, right. Niggas, niggas think they about to hit a million dollar list. Yes. You know us street Fody niggas. There's a million dollars out there. Forty Glock got, <laughs> Forty Glock got the phone call throughout that chain of phone calls. Came. He was cool enough to be in the group, but then he tried to hijack it by yeah, going live. Did. Announcing to people what we're about to do. That nigga right there. To keep it clean with you, I have my own camera in the cut. Got it. In order to capture what I want to capture and be able to make sure nobody's incriminated. To, mm -hmm. But he wanted to go live. So 
At the time when we finally, so when I, so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. By the time I get the call, Lil Wayne is here. It's so many niggas. Yeah, he see all these blue rides and these no, guys Cortez. We come in deep around the corner, and that's when we encountered the fam. The I mean, security the, guard. This time, I don't think he was there. We caught the two SUVs leaving, not knowing they had just dropped him off. God. They probably finna go shopping, do whatever they do, let him shoot the right. video, come back and get him. But when we seen the SUVs, my point man was telling me, hurry up, they leaving, they leaving, they leaving. He didn't, see, God is good. Cause yeah. had he realized what was going on, he would've let the SUVs leave and then called me and tell me come. And we would've went in there and had our way. Oh shit. But instead, when he seen the SUVs leaving, he thinking Wayne is leaving. He like, hurry up, hurry up. So we go and we get right on the SUVs and we walking around looking for Lil Wayne. Right. It was Baby and Slim in the SUVs. And that's basically what happened. I'm telling, I'm, I, I, I keep it real, Slim Baby. Real. I wasn't, I didn't want to harm y'all, but I was begging payback. Cuz, have one of your little homies at least bust a window. He pointing at 40 Glock. Like, he live. They don't want to do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Forty Glock really should got beat up after that. We, okay. We now we got back to the blue room. We should have beat the shit out of Cub. Now this is okay. I'm Easy. glad. I'm glad. You, <laughs> go ahead. I'm glad you clarified that because this is where wax beef with you stems from. Well, this really? is what he tells me. Really? Not beef, but this is why he oh, tells really? me he can't associate with you because now he is cash money. <laughs> and Cash Money remember you as the goon at the window trying to fuck Cat, shit up. Look, shout out to Terrence Gangster Williams. Shout out to Big D. Shout out to Kojak, my G homies from okay. 97. So that's that, Birdman that, doesn't have a personal problem with me behind well, that. Well, that was what what, what Wack what told me while he tried to tell y'all he get on the phone and troll me and talk to me. Nobody does in okay. the world. Wack told me, man, you know what Birdman told me, bro. He said he can't get over that shit because his kids was in the car. Mm. I didn't see no kids. So unless he had his kids laying under the motherfucking bench. That's not true. But Birdman, if indeed that was the case, bro, you know, I offer you all the apologies available under God's blue sky, homie. You know, goddamn well, that was not my intention. Well, not Never. only that, what Come he on. needs to understand is you're here in the, the city where- Playing this with this shit, game banging. Exactly. So yeah. you know these niggas, you look out your window and you see a hundred crips, you know these honey cribs ain't rushing your 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 your, your SUV because your kids there. You know these right. these honey cribs is rushing your SUV because y'all niggas is being crazy right now. This is the first time all these cribs are seeing these red rags on your head and you big five star and all that. So that's the reason why. So he knew it wasn't like oh no man we gonna we gonna kick this up or up no matter who's there. Nah, it was on some street shit. People need to realize when it comes to the street shit in LA it's serious serioso. it's, it, it, it's so serious, serious. Yeah. so that makes sense okay back to whack no we could get off so that no I'm you ain't got to get off me no 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 not get off whack we're gonna get off the Wayne shit so Fuck that's off, not where the whole because he's like telling this that's is, none of it look mind you that's none of his business right because it, it has part absolutely of it nothing to do with him at all okay and and this is what we were told, and this is what we all believe that this is your whole situation. Not only that situation, the second situation was the fact that now he's managing game. Nope. And at the time, there was no one on game's head harder than you. Pause. Now, and I'm gonna keep saying that because it's funny. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> Neighborhood crib. We don't got to do that. We not okay. following that trend. We're not, we don't be saying it. I don't know why gay shit comes to their mind so often. Well, yeah. It's all the kind of phrases we use that can be, huh, huh, fuck that, nigga. I'm a grown ass man. Nigga. Okay, let's be grown today. Yeah. Can we cheers yeah. to be grown today? Salute. Salute. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stop that shit. Peep yeah. the cup, man. I learned so much game. Why not? Hey, right, why not? Yeah, we're going to stop yeah. that shit because, like, yeah, the yeah, homies just be on, like, why you saying Crip that? Crip Street, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do that shit. Yeah. That's stupid. Crip Street. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now back to that. So now he's managing one of the biggest artists in the city, which you are a part of the opposing team. And ain't nobody riding on them like you. Wack used to be a part of the opposing team too. Okay. Yeah, me and Wack, I remember at one Let's point I left the Neo party 
and I was deep with my homies. And we walked out the club, Suge and Wack pulled up in that red GT that Suge made famous right before. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It was a two seater. We happened to be coming out the club. We see somebody with a GU not t shirt from Pyro. My homie see it. We GU and Crippin' heavy at the time. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, you got heavy, heavy. A lot of niggas yes. on that east side. Yes, yeah, Compton, east side, a niggas lot. from 40s. We had a lot of homies, bro. So I didn't even have niggas from Brands. My cousin shot out to Tip, Zeke, all the whole squad. Uh, oh, my mama, mama. But anyway, uh, we see these niggas come out the club. We heavy charged up. The homies get on it. Mm -hmm. Boop, bop, bop. It's a melee. Ooh. At simultaneously, Sugar's pulling up in this in the motherfucking club, getting out in the parking lot, smoking cigar. Like, Why y'all rapping, a nigga? Well, yeah, and I'm just observing, but it's like happening right there. Right, Sugar's approaching from here. Yeah. I know it's a pyro. So when he at, he like, what's up? I'm like, I don't know, fuck, cuz he with you? Hell no. <laughs> oh my mama, mama. But I just want everybody to know. On oh, my granddaughter, heartbeat. Tell us. Wack jumped in the melee Tip. and tried to stump on the Pyro nigga with the G-Unit Crips. Dead homies. Ooh. Dead homies. And what, what made him do that? Just he, he's himself? been hanging on G-Niggas nuts his whole existence around this industry. Huh. This is his whole MO. Okay. Attach himself to someone that he and everyone else considers reputable Got it. and ride their coattail for visibility as I'm reputable too. Oh, and then his play is shit. when he meets someone else that he respects and the general public respects, he goes to say, oh, you know so-and-so? Oh, I'll fuck with him. Hold on. Hey, yeah, 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 my nigga, yeah, yeah. Now you see, oh, he respects you. That's all whack is. That's okay. it. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm. And anybody that we all generally respect that shows him any favor, you know how cartoons when you be they, you be looking at somebody, then they turn into a bag of money, or yes, sir. that's it. He basically lunch me, just like six hundred lunch me. Ooh. Yes. Okay, we can get into six hundred too while we're talking. Six hundred pounds, rest in peace, ransom, neighborhood six zero. Oh shit, ransom. That's where he get his name from. Now the six hundred. I think that was the biggest swindle in six zero history. Six hundred pounds, one homie to the other. So he's that's how he got his name, six hundred, because he got swindled for 600 pounds from a nigga that stayed right up under him for the rest of his life and never had to hide and talk to you and be right up under you, bump into you and tell you another, I got your story. Well, you know exactly what you just said is probably gonna Night be book. a clip that they gonna replay. Man, look, clip it, clip it. Clip. Got it. Okay, now, back to that 600 guy. Officer Lovejoy. Okay, now my thing and and I'm only asking because I honestly, Sheriff Baca boy. I honestly don't know the ticket meter made. <laughs> Go ahead, keep building. I honestly don't know. So when I'm asking these questions, we're not just trying to get content. We are, but it's really because you know who we you're talking know. to. You're talking to Mr. Facts over feeling the Facts most hasty. So you know you're gonna get what also, you're looking for. Also, keep it a Google. Let me right? keep it on my mama, mama. Right, Dead homies. Let's go. Okay. Now I I, I saw a video of you because I you know I, I'm a fan. I follow you. I, I, I watch your, your page, I, I, I'm subscribed to your channel. Gracias. I, I watched a video of you in the parking lot, a parking lot that I'm in a lot, with, with gloves on, pulling up next to the Dorset Village, asking for a certain somebody to pull up. Now, the 600 guy, how, how did you guys, like, what, what, what did this come, like, because this, this neighborhood on neighborhood thing that I'm starting to see online, I, I'm, I'm wondering. There is absolutely zero neighborhood on neighborhood thing online. It's not. Outside, Tell of, me. outside of Lil Rose, okay. for whatever reason, uh -huh. having an issue with his homies, yeah. Big U, whatever he doing, uh -huh. that's neighborhood on neighborhood. God. 600 does not qualify he as a qualify. neighborhood. He's not a hooster, cuz. He don't, okay. That's the only thing that is the misconception. Oh. There are a lot of honorary mascot poop butt homies from a lot of people who, mm -hmm. who play a part because they- For protection. And as long as you stay in your place, right. you can ride that out. Mm -hmm. But the moment you step out of line, this shit'll turn on you right. quick, fast, in a flash. Because I, I was just wondering like, you being over there and you asking him to pull up, no, this most street place. niggas would know that that's a call this out. This what took place. Pulling no, up. See, I would not even do that. I'm a grandfather. I have grand and grown children. Shout out to and your And I do man. everything naturally upon. <laughs> yes. I got, I got to do that because 
Yes. I had to do that because some of us don't even live to see the day to thank be you. grandfathers. Thank and you. For thank you. For you to be that, that's a blessing. No, I am. I am humbly appreciative of the fact that I'm not only someone that could claim to have grown children, to have grandchildren. Go I love ahead. alliteration. So grand and grown, I noticed, and the ends in it. Okay. You got the grand and grown. All you have to change is the A to the O. So I like to play grand and grown. I have grand and grown children. That means growth, greatness. Exactly. You that's why me? I don't dye my beard, and that's why Gratitude. I accept. Grown, grand, greatness, gratitude, growth. Go you see ahead. all the GRs? All the GRs. I like to play with that. But so what my thing is this, bro. What was we talking about before? Because I was landing. Okay, but what and what? Oh yeah. So yeah, what happened? Yeah. I, you know, I'm Mr. G. The gratitude is the attitude. Facts over feelings. That's word of the day. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I true. used to be. This is what I used to do. I'm not into that. I don't do that. Right. Six hundred. Fuck ho no hundred. You popped up day one, mm -hmm. being qualified to get served. Got it. I gave you a pass. Got For it. For whatever my reasons. Uh huh. I didn't. I gave you a pass. Yeah, I'm a pass. I allowed you to enjoy dialogue and what you appeared to assume was camaraderie with me mm -hmm. behind the scenes that, for, I'm gonna let you know now, the cat is out the bag. The only reason I did it is because I knew it would make ho no honey hot as fuck. <laughs> from the day 600 hit the scene, I knew, look bro, I went from private school, graduating at 17, to being 18 on the level three yard, pushing EC crib. There's no way to, try to like fake my history, no. my story. No. This city knows me. So the day from over the there. day That's I knew, the day I seen 600 hit the scene, I knew he was a Winnie the Pooh goofball goober. But he's not the only one of those. No, it's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's not my lot. job to just it's start picking lot. them off. Whoop, whoop, you from 60s, okay, I know what you are. Right. But let you know, the elect, the allegiance, he's a pledge to whack. I've been lining him up to do what just happened f the whole time. Playing dumb, you know what they say, keep what? your enemy. Yeah, yeah keep your he thought close. we was friends. He thought we was buddies after he aligned with the nigga that lied on me and caused me to start this campaign. Right. So long story short, out of nowhere, we, 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 we shared this motherfucking mutual agreement not to go at each other. And he just out of nowhere, I don't know if Wack put three fingers up his asshole like oh, Nika did Wack, but shit. for some reason, 600 loose, I mean, 600 Lovejoy, Officer, bitch boy, big long titty. Did you see the nigga in the boxing ring take a I knee? Have, no, I have the not. The nigga took a knee in the boxing ring. Go watch it, y'all. Yeah, he took a knee. What can we find? The it? nigga titty was hanging on his on his thigh. Damn. His titty hung on his thigh. So wait, he's in there boxing somewhere? And he took, he, just, and he, he, got yeah, he took an L. He quit, but he's on one knee. Fuck all that. That's honorable. You got in there. Oh, but, we all lose. But what I'm saying is, in the process, I'm a, I can't the nigga to. titty. Just imagine you down on one knee. Okay. She kind of relaxes. Ooh, his titty was hanging on his thigh. This might have to be the thumbnail to this video. Yeah. I haven't yes, seen it, but titty, we're going to check that his out. His titty hangs to his thigh. Sorry, 600. But long story short, this bitch ass, goofy ass nigga that like to play with the police that I've been given a pass. Mm -hmm. I never gave my actual assessment or opinion or thoughts on his character, Got which it? was from day one goofball, corny, buster, nobody. Go I ahead. never chose to serve him. Out of nowhere, chose to do this <laughs> on a video <laughs> titled Warning Shot to Spider Low. Okay, wait. Click, clack. Right then and there, that was enough. He could have stopped the video. He did that? Click, clack. That's how he started this video. Why? Click, clack. Why not? <gasps> Click, clack. You hear me? Click, clack. That's how he started this video. This is my, uh, according to everybody, my buddy, neighborhood homie. Woo. Huh. He started it. Click, clack. Your roller coaster. Yeah, neighbor, roller coaster. So, click clack, uh, spot a low. You up. It's a warning shot. You lied on whack. You ever lie on them again, basically? I'm going in, and you know what it is with me. When I go in, I go in and I don't stop. And it's going to affect everybody around you. So, it's your last warning. So, I responded with a video. I don't remember what I said, but it was titled. Fuck your warning shot. And he was telling me, don't call Ho No Honey CS2 back. So I said, fuck your warning shot and CS2 back. Mm -hmm. And I just made some commentary on it. He chose to then not only go to Ramona's in my hood in the six pack. On San Pedro? Yeah, in the 6A hood. On oh, 69? Yeah, he went there with one of my homies. What? And tried to troll me. Like, you see where I'm at? I'm with a real one. Da 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 da. Then he went to Washington Park, or he went to Washington Park first. In the eight nines? And, yes, in, in my hood. 
in my backyard, what? in my home, in oh, my bed. Mary Street? In, yes, yes, where I, where, right, where I live. What? So he thought it was cute, cool to go online and troll me from these two environments. So now you get my motivation from stepping down from the mature position that I uphold and maintain online right. to get out and do my version of what he called himself doing. So not only did I go to his hood, like he called himself going to mine, God. then I went to my hood where he claimed he just left in Washington Park and my G homie said, I ain't getting a DP. So I was going to do all that to respond to those points that he made. God. See, now it's starting to then he went to the PJs and went to interview my nigga Lil Draws, who didn't really know what was going up and tried to make it look like he was good over there. Now, so like, I had to go to the PJs. You had to. This is my shit out here when it comes to this personalities online, cripping. This is my shit. Now, let me ask you something, because I, I, I want to stay on the whole 600 shit, but now that you brought up the PJ thing, because there was another video where I saw you in the PJ. Shout out to Tiny Double Up, my low 197 Crip. Yeah. Got it. Now, mm -hmm. I had to bring that up because there was a video of you. You didn't bring it up. Huh? You didn't bring it up. No, I, I had to because. Why not? But you didn't bring it up. No, I am now because okay. you said. Well, why not? Project. But you didn't bring it up. No, no, no. I'm going to right now. <laughs> but thank you for bringing it up. Why not? No, nah, I'm going to go back to the 600 shit. But, like, I just wanted to clarify that whole situation with you and Double Up because, as, as you know, Double Up is, is, is a um, supporter of the Why Not podcast. Why not? That's your boy. So that's am my I. boy. And I just want to clarify, make sure everything, and just ask a personal question, because I really am concerned. You guys good? Yes, for deaf dope. That's all I have to hear. Always have been, always will be. Shout out Tiny Double Up and, 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 uh, and Hunter Grounds Management. E okay. So, shout out Trifling, too. Shout out Trifling. Shout out, shout out Trifling. Shout out Cohort. MB3, AC. Big Double Up, Baby Double Up, all yeah, the homies all that we that. know. Okay, Big Frog, I, too. Oh, okay. Now, I wow. just. Wow. Wow. Uh, you wow, can't. Hold on. Go ahead. Answer it on live. Let that nigga Why know. not answer the phone for MB3 when we talking about Tiny Double Up and the homies from 190 in the middle of the Why Not podcast? And with my Bro Rogan. Seven Crip with Bro Rogan called me asking me, is me and Double Up friends or brothers? I'm telling him, what? 197 Crip. Then the, the, the young general from the section tap in. MB3, what it do? You on the Why Not podcast live. Let's go. It's not live, it's pre recorded. <laughs> Yep. Like, what's up, MB3, man? You know, just, just you know, shout out to you. Shout out to your whole section. We here with Spider Loke, the general, man. We just, you know, trying to, you know, get situations, make sure our bros out here really, you know, kumbaya because we need, you know, we need we need to all stick together type shit. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. You got two solid homies, man. Got out there. You got that little misunderstanding out the way and come back together like it should be. That's how we do it. And that's how we all that's how we gotta keep it, man, because you know, a lot of times this internet shit can be get, get, get weird and people don't know and understand what really goes on out here, but as long as we really know, man, fuck what these internet niggas saying, man, because we real troopers out here. Yep. Well, as long as you, hey, look, let me let me let you know right here live on the show, man. Our doors are always open for you, so you ain't even gotta, you know, worry about or, or or worry if you can come, man. It's always open, so all you gotta do is just tap in with us, and that door is open for you at any time, bro. Yes, sir. Most definitely, I appreciate it. I'm gonna tap in right when I leave here, little bro. Yes, sir. E Esau. All right. Okay. Yeah, shout out to all my young homies. Shout out to all the young folks out the here. got the wave. P1, MB3, huh? my nigga Law5. Go ahead. Uh, Zoe Summer. All the young homies that got the wave, you already know what time it is. We finna do this. East Man, side. we've been reaching out to Zoe for a minute. We got to get that, bro. Because you know Zoe. Zoe is Zoe being, busy. He's being very, yes, he's being Zoe very busy. particular what he attaches himself to, which exactly. he should. As a, as he should. Yeah, he's, he has a very elite position. I, I just want the homie to keep walking into it, keeping it easty. Bastards. But we'll get him here. Well, yeah. the only reason, you know, what really. You know, I don't know what your budget like, but, you know, he be wanting to know what the budget like. Oh, shit, we can talk about that. It's all got dope. Look at my shit, man. You kept it player with your boy, so I, but Zoe, like, you know, I don't no, know. I know. The, hey, the look around. Home, when, yeah. it, when it comes to the real ones, ain't no budget. They can see the background on this shot, right? 
Yeah, you see the whole city. City is yours. Hey, this is a penthouse. Yeah, Zo. It's, it's a go, Zo. Hey, this is a hey, east side. No, now what, 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 I want to go back to the 600 shit and the whole pulling up and like pulling up at Ramona's and pulling up here. You know what that kind of remind me of? GBO Gatson? It remind me of uh, 6 9 GBO Gatson, 6 9 same thing in that. It reminds yes. me of that because it's yes. like when, when those guys were doing that shit, we, we as real street. LA niggas, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. There was a nigga that was doing that that actually got murked. I remember he was pulling up in, in Compton. He pulled, oh, yeah. he ended up yeah, getting going killed. to everybody park. Yeah. He went to the Hoovers. Yep. He went, and it was yeah. like, since when LA niggas start doing that. So then 6ix9ine got popular, and I'm like, we don't do that shit. He going to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, to the black BD. But you hood. know, the only people who's done that in their own hood, 600 and Snoopy Rat Ass. They the only niggas that go in their own hood and do real quick shit to show, I can be in my hood. Yeah, I know. But other niggas do the troll enemy hoods. 600, not only does he do it in other hoods, he does it in his own hood. You never, how many times have you seen 600 with some 60s? Six, they bang six times 10. 60 times 10 is what? 600. He should at least be able to get 10 60s in a motherfucking camera with him, bro. Damn. The deepest, the deepest gang in LA, arguably, of course, it's outside of the Hoovers in the East Coast, is, is the 60s. We all know that. So, how it's you can't, them we all know they're known for inner strife and inner, yeah. how you can't get 10, 10, 10, 2. How you can't get 2? Yeah. Eddie Boy is a Muslim. Man. So, you got Eddie Boy and who, bro, that is willing to get on camera with you, bro? I don't know, because I drive, I drive past Hungry Harold's almost every day. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not saying I don't see 600, but I haven't seen him. The but thing is, if you do see him, you don't see him with the Crips. Okay. Seeing a nigga anywhere at any given time means mean nothing shit. if you can't I actually see. ran into him at the USC game. Was he with me? I, he was with, his, like, with a girl. He had and, some headphones that he was... Uh, Saying he was gonna give away to somebody one time on his live. Well, no, he was. Some we beats. were just. I was at a USC game. My daughter was working a USC game. He my said, buddy, bro, a son is a safe. What's up with shout the beats? Out to, cause you told you. Was shout out to me. You said you was gonna give me them beats for my daughter. Cause let me get them beats, Chris. Well, I, I just my thing is when I started seeing him going, and I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's the honest truth. When I start seeing him going live from different areas, the first thing I thought about was six nine, because I'm like not six nine cue ball them, but a six nine. The rapper. Was he like, actually going live or was he uploading videos after he left? I don't even know. Oh, okay, go I don't ahead. even. To be I'm honest, just curious. We're I don't ahead. even think I've ever gone live because I'm just I'm not real big on the internet. Even though this, like, I got people to do it for me. So like, what it, whatever he was doing, I, I I don't know if it was live. I just know what I thought when I Correct. seen it, and I was like, we don't do that. Like, you got a problem with somebody in the city, you know where to go. You ain't got. And this internet shit gets tricky now. Extremely. Now I, I want to get I want to get into you really quick because we we could talk about the ops or we don't even say that it's another thing that puts in amigo what happened to in amigo these niggas are enemies in amigos that that's, that was our flip that's our flip yeah. amigo so like that Chicago shit but you know what I'm not I'm not hating on the. I you know like what? the term it's a, it's a smorgasbord now it's a potluck yeah, we because all the guess what they they took fade we that was our contribution they took racks racks they took, a, it's, we got a few contributions they took homie homie. Ex they see, you feeling me? Yeah. Cuz, blood. blood. Yeah. So we can't be mad that the internet has caused us no. to be more acclimated to our cousins afar Plus, and realize they got flavor too. Exactly. Plus another thing, it's, 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 it, it leaves because at the end of the day, we all I'm one, about bro. peace. We, we all one, bro. Right. You know or a lot of our ancestors out here yeah, you came from it. Louisiana, uh -huh. came from Mississippi. Uh -huh. So there's really no... California yeah, culture. There, there's no state outs, line. No, there's no California culture that is original outside of migrants from other states. You're right. You're right. From from Turtle from Santana. Come on now. To Tookie, to even Snoop Dogg. Snoop. All of have origins outside of. So oh, therefore, man. the influence of whatever their foundation was is a part of what built us. Hey. Which the fact that now what we built in our area in our backyards is so influential it's just a boomerang really right. like, it was them niggas anyway hey and like game said about uh about exhibit 
He from Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah, look, shout out to Exhibit. Shout out Exhibit. For no, everything exhibit. he did and accomplished. Fuck with Exhibit. Me too. But me That's and him, good. I would love to tell my Exhibit story. I would like to tell it next to him one day. You see what we do in Exhibit? We got to do this and tell them. Oh, no, no. Come to the Why Not Podcast. You, I, I, you know, I, I can reach out to him. Because we've had a lot of experience that culminated with him making um I have a handicapped brother who's 37. Okay. But so almost 20 years ago, don't be sorry. It's almost like Munchie. That's insider but i was all right we, no, we get, I make sure we clarify that so i'm saying no, like no, 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 yeah don't be right. sorry but anyway no, I can't be my sorry. little brother at one point you know how you see people who have challenged lives get the opportunity to have a what they call it make a wish day every day because of my career i was able to have my brother have a lot of make a wish days and exhibit played a part at one point oh, so it exhibit, yes man. not that's only a, did exhibit snoop dog cedric the entertainer bow a... wow shaquille o'neal suge knight man. kobe bryant 50 cent young but all these people have helped my brother's life who is now 37 years old well shout out to your brother Derek. Man. i love you little shout bro you Derek, already know man. yeah he was he born said, in 1987 so how old is he, he april 9th that is 37 right 37 yeah, years old 37. Yeah, i love you little bro yeah shout out to Derek. Yeah. okay now let's segue to this because like uh, i want to i want to go more on the positive thing right now because like we got into like at the end of the day we got we got to oh see he keep taking credit for what i did yeah i, I just took to. it positive no i did it already i went to Derek. i've been saluting the little bro i'm sorry all right no i'm yeah, fucking hey, with you hey, i got not? johnny carson the whole thing <laughs> that nigga johnny used to get on there he used to introduce like all the comedians, whether it be Richard Pryor or any of those guys, and he, you would think he wrote the movies they were in, but like, nah, I'm doing my Johnny shit. No, that's no, a skill. But like, let me, let me. I'm an asshole, homie. I don't know if you know. No, I love it. Okay. No, like, like yeah. I, I am too, but like. Have you ever interviewed Bosco? Yeah, no, he, he, Shout out Bosco, Inglewood, man. He, come on, Queen he, Street. He gonna pull up. Yeah, he say less. Go ahead. Yeah, he gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah, gonna tell, pull tell up. Bosco, come on. I got man. you. Mm -hmm. I fucked with Bosco. You know, he, you know, I, 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 I I'm. I be around in that area a lot because I got property over there. So like, Salute. yeah, 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 I be over there okay. a lot. But um, I, w I just wanted to get into, because your past, mm -hmm. there was a time, honestly, and I I'm here to, 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 to relate this. And a lot of people weren't around, a lot of you young niggas, but a lot of people don't realize the magnitude of 50 Cent. Mm. Honestly, and like, I, and we're talking about, I, I, we're of age to where we can remember Snoopy when Snoop Dogg came out. Yes. There was no With one. With the flat top. I remember the there flat top. There was no one that huge. Before the hair. Before the flat Snoop top. Snoop came out. There was no one ever that big, but there was one other guy with that same kind of like magnitude. Back then? Just to, or I'm, since. Talking about, I'm talking about since. The musical history. Okay. Since. Okay. West Coast. Music. Not just West. Okay. So what I'm trying to say Drake. is. Drake. What I'm trying to say is. Kendrick or Drake? What I'm trying to say is. Say it, God damn it. Why not? Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. Biggest rapper to ever hit the scene. Oh, my mama, mama. But there was one guy I can compare it to. I don't know. I couldn't imagine. And that was. Oh, 50 Cent. 50. Mm -hmm. At that time. As far as the rollout, No yes. one was fucking. That rollout was unbelievable. But. You was part of that whole situation. And I just want just you to just tell us how was that like to be around someone that was just like it's and I don't want to be disrespectful to the Christians, to the Catholic, but it's like a God. Not even a God. It's like walking amongst Jesus. Cause during the time Nah, of, neighborhood Nipsey Hustle was the only time I felt I was walking around of Christ like, so? yes. As when he was alive. Fifty more like the devil. Oh shit. Equally in awesome in power so, and impressive. But Nipsey had a, more of a godly presence than fifty. I still was equally impressed at see, when I met Nipsey. It wasn't like that. That's what I'm saying. I was just going to get into that. at the end of his life, he had arrived. When I was reintroduced to the nip that died, it was a new nip. See, this is why. Okay. I felt like I was in the presence well, that, of this something is, so great uh -huh. that I, when the world reacted the way it did, it was like, oh, and this that's is why, why I felt like that. This is why I, I didn't want to compare nip because I knew nip too. Like, like I knew him, knew him, knew him, knew him, knew him. No, Ermius. You know, yeah, I knew him. Ermius. And my, or Nip. My, you don't know him if you only know Nip. You know Ermius. Oh, yeah. I, I remember when he has incense in his okay. backpack. Yeah. No, but Rest the reason peace, why Puto. I didn't 
compare Nip to Snoop mm -hmm. because I was one of those guys, I felt Nip should have been bigger than he was when he was alive. So like when he dropped Crenshaw and when he dropped, he actually had the release party down the street from my, my, my second place of business. So I was there when he was selling the hundred dollar CDs. And I, I remember telling him, proud to pay. What a great idea. And then the next thing you know, I was told that Jay-Z brought, bought $10,000. And I was like, yo, you, you on your Shout way. Shout out Jigga for putting the homie on the map with that move. But the right only there, reason why bro. I didn't compare it because during his life, I think he became bigger after his life, which he mm -hmm. should. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about 50 still alive, and during that rollout, there was not one person as big. Like, I still make your point. You've been saying that for about five minutes, bro. Okay, nothing bigger than 50 now. What about it? Well, you you cut me off and you. I apologize. Yeah. So I had to I had to shut that whole nip because I can't. You can't shut it. the nip. Don't say it like that. Just go. Just keep building. I have to. Okay, my And brother. I'm not shutting Nip look, down. Look, I'm just shutting another, the comparison look, look. down. You're talking about Nip and the six O's is hitting me. Shout yeah. out my big cousin, Ron Ron. Well, Night the book. only thing I want to get to is this. Right. You were around during that time. Yes. You were part I was fortunate of the and blessed to experience a lot of that energy. And I just want to know how was that? Amazing. Remember I was telling you about Monaco? Yeah, I know. We talked yeah, about we could, that for a yeah, second. Yeah, I could have kept going we, back we're then. We're not just talking about Monaco. We're talking Bro, about. Bro, you can open up a whole, like we can do a book, a movie, a documentary worth of that conversation. What you want to know? It was an amazing experience. And you as an East Side LA nigga mm, that's part of born that Born in Compton. Shit. Born Compton in Compton. Don't, don't leave the hub out. No, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure. almost hubbing the dub. You see love. Yeah, but I'm almost hubbing the dub. Yeah, because you, my you, hood, if you ask my daddy, in them. my neighborhood, non East Coasters, you ask my daddy and his crew, in his years, that's Watts. No, that's Watts. So really, I'm from a hub and a dub. God. We, I learned to swim at Real Rogers. We used to walk the Real Rogers. Oh, I know Real Rogers. Ted Watkins. So yeah. I'm really from Watts and like, Compton. I know Dino and all of them that, that, that started the whole basketball from, from, tournament. I'm at, talking at Washington about, Park. No, not Washington Park. No, I know, I know Will Rogers, of course, but I'm just saying because that's another side of the East Side that claims See, Watts. Now you mentioned Washington Park and basketball. I got to shout out G Go Magic ahead. from Avalon, Cartoon from Five Trey, G Magic from AA, A, my nigga, my G homie, my big bro, Lil Suge from AA, A, and I got to shout out the game, man, um, from Cedar Block, man, Black Wall Street game, man. It's big things popping. Wait, when you say game, are you talking about? Yeah, my adversary my, in rap, my arch enemy for the last better of two decades. Well, thank you for going right into no, my No, hit a question. button, man. You ain't, you Go got ahead. that shit for nothing, bro. <laughs> Shout out to the whole Damu, Keyway Conversations movement, kicking cack, being bull. Uh, me and Game spoke as men last night. and um, You just jumped right into it. Yeah. You, um, you, um, you, we we, we you read my mind because that is one thing I wanted you to talk about. I just recently, today actually, I saw a picture you posted of you in game. This is this is big amongst the, the industry right now, man. Cause at the beginning of this fucking podcast, we talked about you going at niggas heads. And he was one of those guys who But you had, know what's crazy? Me and game in front of my G homies, his big cousin Magic from 88, we had a real kumbaya. And the one request I had was, I said, cuz I'm finna post this picture of us from back in the day. When I get it, when I do it, repost it. He said, all right. I posted it, Magic reposted it. He, game liked it. He has yet to repost it. Someone told me he only has one post on his page. I didn't go look, so I understand. Neither did I. Huh? Neither did I. So, but if that's true, I get it, but you said you was gonna repost it. Come on, don't you call said you was gonna repost it. You ain't gotta keep it up there, but you know we trying to keep our word at this point, Brody. But no, I I, I just want so you are you are clearing it up, clearing the air right now. You Look, me and game, game. Is, me and game has never had no beef. Me and game were friends. Well, that I, the beef when you can I allow can you allow me to speak for myself, please? Oh, Come on, bro, Rogan. <laughs> I'm trying to clarify what the perception to the My public has get, been for I'm the sorry. better of two decades. I apologize. Go ahead. All right. We've <laughs> never had no beef. What happened between Game and I, who were friends, uh -huh. and I'm going to take responsibility upon myself and accountability, I allow industry, uh, politics, mm -hmm. and affiliations, and my ignorance as far as 
my gang bang mentality <laughs> applied to a business situation right. to cause me to get off course with a friend, even though I was applying the same morals principles that I applied, Got they it. they shouldn't have been applied. Right. In a more wiser mind, I would have done things way different. Got it. Because game in the onset of him clashing with G Unit went out of his way in his early records when he was dissing them to separate me and give me props. I don't think he ever mentioned you in a negative way, did he? He, he did, but it was only once he had did this songs toward G Unit. I had a tattoo. We G Unit cripping in LA. All day. And hell. then he tried to do a song where he dissing everybody in G Unit and then show me love on the same song. Yeah, you can't do that. I couldn't. I'm, I'm too. My mentality was so yeah, gang banged yeah, out yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. work. Yeah, you can't do that. So at the same time, 50 Cent, as wise as he was, was telling me stay out of it. Cause he probably foresaw a day like today, but I'm so raw. Also at that time, 50 whole thing was game was disloyal. So I'm trying to come in, of course, not being over loyal that I don't have, just show how loyal I am and show I understand. Got it. All these things was playing in part of, how can you, I be out here G-Unit Crippin and he g you not and, and me not get involved in the beef. You're right. So that's why I inserted myself in it. But Game and I have never really disliked each other or hated each other. So it was political. Right. You're in Vietnam. You went to the Army because you're trying to do better for your life. Right. I'm in America. I went to the Army because I'm trying to do better for my life. Right. Now we're on the battlefield going at each other. Have no personal. It's about politics and principles and issues. Or you play for the Philadelphia uh, there you Eagles. Go. I play for the New York Giants. I don't hate you. You just on the opposing team, and I'm trying to beat or, you. Or, or you're standing on that side of the ring, and Bro Rogan is in the middle <laughs> announcing <laughs> us going five rounds for three minutes. You're right. And I'm finna try to break your skull, you're right. and you're gonna try to break mine. And afterward, we're gonna hug and bloody and you're right. Almost Man, like that. I'm Glad you're the sport. Like this, and I'm not gonna even front. When I when I saw that picture today, I got a little little giddy because I. When it comes to this this hip hop shit, I I don't like to see us against each other. And when I say us, I mean West Coast rappers because you already know like it's already hard enough because I feel like in order to be a rapper here out of LA, you got to be affiliated with something. Like they're not going to promote you unless you've got someone behind you. And I'm talking about the machines. So whenever they, when, when they were promoting game, and I know he had the cedar blocks and all that behind him, and then they were promoting you and the guys, I felt like they were trying to make street shit involved in the music shit. So like whenever they wrote articles about spider Loak and game, they always had to mention the street shit. But I knew it Jay wasn't no street shit with but you see, guys. See, see, game and I didn't have top dog. That didn't happen for Kendrick and J-Rock. It didn't. It was a controlled media release because right. of Top Dog's experience and knowledge. Right. And he was- Shout what, out to Top. Shout out to Top, bro. To top. top told me, day one with J-Rock, I got a new kid, a young guy. I'm gonna bring him in gangster, take him out pop. Come on, man. J-Rock was too banged out to yeah, go with the man. program. Yeah, he was. K-Dot wasn't. K-Dot was ready. So what K-Dot experienced, not saying it's not ordained for him, but me being aware of the back scheming of everything, right? J Rock was almost K-Dot. Cause it was a culmination of the MC's hustle and grind mm -hmm. with the CEO's hustle and grind. And he was matching both of them where they were at. They're both extremely talented. Yes, and it with timing and I guess divinity, it was K Dot instead of J Rock. But Oh, he was the one they was pushing that. K Dot, part. I really am convinced. Tell me. Would not have been able to Elevate. reach to what he has without the cosmic aligning of him and Top Dog's journey meeting. And I say that to say this, I feel myself, G Malone, and maybe a couple of Shut others could have experienced East IK boy. <laughs> comparable, similar success as K-Dot in Top Dog's hands at that time. Damn, you're I feel like Top Dog could have worked a lot of good product at that time, a lot of certain shit. And K Dot was just fortunate enough, loyal enough, solid enough, talented enough to have been the one that Top was working with, and it was his time. 
But it's not that his talent superseded his peers that much. He was blessed to be aligned with the CEO that Wack pretends to be. Top Dog is the one. He is. He is the he is iconic idea of what streets, hip hop, success, struggle, combined, silence, don't give a fuck if you know what I look like or sound like, is Top Dog. And basically, I'm going to say this, and I'm neither, I do not, and I'm sorry, Barter, but I have to give you. <laughs> <laughs> what you just said made a lot of sense, and, and I'm going to say this. And, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time. Basically, because I love Suge. Me too. I just love what he represented. I love what but he Top Dog is a better Suge than Suge. Top Dog is a better Suge than Suge. He should have been. It's what he could have never have been. Because Suge didn't really get affiliated until Absolutely. he was. Huh. I know. Top Dog has a. Shout out to Mike Conception. Plus his. Shout out to Mike. We all in the same. It's game. a whole lot. People just don't think run. about it. All in the same game spawned Kendrick Lamar. Yes. That's how long that chain and of. You guys don't, for you guys that don't know what we're talking about, my conception was. That'll be on the next one. A yes. heavy hitter here in the streets of L.A. His and name is mixed up with the beginning of the Crips. Yes. His name is mixed up not only with the beginning of the Crips, his name is mixed up with gangster music. And Russell Simmons. So I'm glad you, you put that out yeah. there. Yeah. And, and, hey, without a Shug, maybe we don't have a top dog because – Top Dog learned what not to do. So nah, 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 nah. Top Dog would never, ever, ever, ever have to look at Shug to know what not to do. You're right. Top Dog is the epitome of from the streets to the struggle to success. And Top Dog, as long as I've known him for like 30 years, has never, ever, 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 ever been broke. My experience with Top Dog, even while I was considering myself a Shug artist, mm -hmm. I would be able to call Top Dog and say, Cut, or Top. Matter of fact, top is a new word for me. You talking about when he had the five one zero? That top. I don't even remember what he was driving. To be oh, honest with you, no. The, the, the earliest I can remember right now was a red Escalade. Get a red Escalade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevenson Village, dead end, cross street from Mike. My conception still stayed across street from him at the time I met him. Damn. Now he on Mulholland and all that. Yeah, yeah, but top dog that had me in game on Mulholland before it was completed. Wow, my conception was in his bed with no shirt off, <laughs> sitting up with his pajamas on, and Top stood there before Game did, right before he, before he put his G-Unit album out, and I was buzzing and Game was buzzing. My conception told Top I need to talk to them. And me, Game, and, and Top Dog was in my conception bedroom. He sat in the bed and gave us a speech of how we should move in our careers from this point forward. See, that's some fucking Los Angeles, like, really, 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 that is some of the best Los Angeles history. Top didn't because, say a word. Like, Top is such a G. He, he stood in he the corner, in he leaned on the wall, and let his uncle talk to us. He didn't say shit. We stayed there like two, three hours. We got to tour the facility. This nigga Michael Conception had a house where he had a full lift basketball court in his house. Damn. And you walk up the stairs, it's, you know, I go, uh, YMCA, yeah. the indoor track around the shits. Yeah. We was watching this getting built. Wait then, a minute, he, wait a minute. then he had the whole SSL board studio in the backyard with the pool. And then he did us like this, bro. He in his wheelchair doing like this. You know how I built my house right here on my hood. You can see, all you see is like real high elite backyards that you can't really make out because of trees and shit. Right. He say, you know who my neighbor is right there? He owns Zest. My neighbor right there, he owns Ty. My neighbor right there on Vaveline. This is why I built my house right here. Huh. He got pictures of Russell Simmons and the likes of people like that from like family events two months ago. That's what when I'm his talking. name don't never, you don't never hear his name, you but don't. he was still that heavy saturated in the game. But these are the type of relationships that Top Dog has been festering from day one. Oh, you're right. that, that all ended up playing the part as to when Kendrick was ready to be that nigga, he had a top dog in his back pocket, bro. God damn. Yeah, he lucky he didn't end up on G-Unit. <laughs> oh, my mama, my, my, my. We might not know Kendrick. Hey. If k -Dot had ended up on G-Unit, we might have never met Kendrick. Oh, my. Hey. Hit the button. Come on, hey. Oh, my, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's a punchline. That is. That's a title. We got to have a motherfucking podcast called Punchline. I'm going to tell you like this, man. I, I, I really enjoyed this. And like. It's over? 
Oh, it's almost over. Only because I gave. Listen, I know why. <laughs> you, you gave me some jewels. No, I know why it's over. Oh no, no, it can keep going. It, okay, but same. It, 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 it's never over. We just prorate everything. Let's go. No, 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 I'm not, it, let's it's go. It's never over. Let's it, go then. Keep it going. No, the only reason I'm why thinking we just getting started. Oh, we keep going. The only reason why I was thinking it was over only because like I like to give them only some. I'll come back. Dead. That's what I said. Uh, I, I need a part two, a part three, a part four. I don't want to get look, everything. Look, we we want. boring somebody. Look. No, no, hell no. no that's somebody falling asleep. No, that's the alcohol, dude. But no, no that's only, my sister. I'm just fucking here. worried. Only reason why I do that is because I want my door to be open for a second and third. I can't let you come in here and give them everything, my nigga. Nah. Say don't less. Don't you want to come back? Delay gratification. Can you do no, me a but favor? They're, they're, yes, sir. Can we remove these type of images? What the fuck is going on? Is that a subliminal? Which one? This, was that there for uh, Dejan? Did you put that there for Dejan? I don't even know what that is. What is Look that? at it. Every color you ever seen. Well, no. Let, let, let's get into that right yeah. now. Because a lot of well, people What is the word? Me. What is the word? I have no idea. No, put your glasses back. Oh, them ain't glasses. What does that no, say? No, they too graffiti, yeah. They graffiti. I no. Say. Let's get into that before we, we, we go. I have a thing for stickers. Okay. So, I see. like, I, I, I come from the world of construction. Mm. Back when I was a carpenter, Union, by the way, 1506. Joseph. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I had my, my lunch pail and I had my tools and my toolbox. We always flooded them with, with Union stickers. Mm. And then, like, so, like, just in case you got the same lunch pail as me. This nigga I, ain't got one sticker on here that say local, and he got a thousand stickers. They don't say local, nothing. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. I, go I, ahead. I'm, keep I'm building. Not them right keep it. But why not? I'm just fucking with you. Because no, no, I don't want to answer. We'll get into that. That was a plug for the. Yeah, oh, no, go ahead. No, 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 I love it. I so I, I got this love for stickers all of a sudden. So it started from the union. So like for me to differentiate my fucking lunch pail from yours, I would have different stickers. Okay. And then I started like sticking stickers on everything. So my lunch pail, my toolbox. I knew it was something to it. One of my extra bedrooms. So mm -hmm. like now. Would you do a whole wall in a real room that's supposed to be a fly room like this? 100%. Yep. And also, I have a lot of skateboard friends. Okay. And Shout like, out dudes, dudes, bike, skateboards, like so the same shit. A lot, a lot of those guys, like you go to, the, to, to whether it be Supreme or, or you go to, to Huff, and they flood their tables with right. stickers. So whenever I go to my, my homies' stores, whether it be my boys at Carhartt, my boys at Rip and Dip, this is my, my wife's salon. Am I falling into a commercial? This is the homie. He can pay for it this, y'all. Yeah. He set this up. I seen hey, this get set up. Tyler, Look. the creator. This is from his store. So does, so, that, does this have anything to do with him? This was this was Because this is what started it all, bro. This was part We're of something. We're talking about the color scheme, bro. Oh, you talk. Oh. Yeah, Dejan Paul, Tyler, the creator. Is this for <laughs> them? That's all I was asking. Hey, hey. This we, one in particular. Hey. We ain't got nothing against Nobody. any of them. We represent, hey, hey, they part of the community too. Are you a father? Very much. Of any male specimens? No, I am not. Oh, I am. that's why you don't have a strong stance, nigga. I, I, I'm that's a, why, I'm yeah, you, you got an easy walk through this shit, bro. You, it's an easy walk. Yeah, you don't have to worry about I it. Daughter. I got men, child. No, it's hard having a daughter. Not in this regard. It's easier to deal with. Is Life it? is hard. Life is hard. But not in these regards. But you know what? It's more acceptable, anything that goes. Well, you don't, I bet you don't want to introduce me to your junior like this. I would never. Exactly. But your daughter, no, no matter how, but it's hypothetically. Yeah. Your, your daughter, whether you please or not, it's not that bad. Well, let me, let me just, let me just put you up on something with my daughter. Is um, Kind of like that? She, she doesn't grow up. She's not raised on the side where we, we hang out at. She's more north. Mm. So she see a That's lot more of, little. Mm. I get it. Yeah. Tell me this. Oh, and her mother. West Side LA nigga never bang. Love stickers. Did you ever tag? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello? Stickers? I tag, yeah, of course. Yeah. Look. I'm just saying, you. I'm I just. Have one right here. What, where is it, it better be a hello sticker on here because you don't have no local <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Show the camera. Come on. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's what I remember. Come Junior on. high school was the thing. Big Sharpies and Hello Stickers. Oh, man, I got, I got Mean Streaks, if you know what that is. Streaks and Strikes, what you mean? Yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Tagger Streak, Gangbanger Strike. I yeah, get no, it. But, hey, SPI, man. I'm Blessings. You, this has been a, 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 
a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. Likewise, man. Like, honestly, like, and like I tell my guests all the time, man, and I'm going to tell you right now, don't let this first time be the last time. Let this be no. one of a hundred. So that's another reason why I don't do the whole, let me hear your whole life, because I want this to be a two, a three, and a four. I see a lot of platforms have reoccurring. So and, I'm making myself available to you now before I, you know, if you want to have us that type of relationship based on our conversation we had before this and things that we both project for our, hey, bring listen, me back. I'm here for you. Listen, we, I, got, I got a whole another list of questions. Maybe we can create us to. a weekly segment. Hey, I'm here for you. We can, you, you hear this, me? guys? I'm about building, man. Well, Bottom I'm about up, building, too. Like Nipsey said, this is an era of a renaissance online with independence empowerment for our people and for anyone i see actively aggressively sustaining the effort that is amongst our community i am eager to collab in some way hey well spider people with integrity yes. say no yes. say, hey yes. say less yes. yes. because hey the why not studio why not it's really really about why that not? and why not i'm just saying slogan. though hey like i said i'm bro rogan bro and why rogan. not is the slogan you hear him joe Come on, <laughs> my guy Spider Load. This has been real. This is the Why Not Podcast, and we out. How you do your work?